it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I have a special request for Frida, um, big. So I bought, I mean, I was so disappointed. You can see here, I bought an SVG file, gave it a one star because it was a horrible, horrible file. And I reached out to the designer and you know, this is not my first time doing this. So I know what kind of quality files that I should be getting and that one was not it. Um, but anyway, so don't get that one. If you're going to do this one, let's try this one. This one's from First Star Treasures. And you can see I buy files all the time. I cannot design them. And so I like to buy, <laughs> I like to look through and find one that I really like and, and purchase it there. All right, so I'm going to show you how to purchase or actually how to download. So you've already purchased, and this is gonna be similar to Creative Fabrica, Design Bundles, Font Bundles, and Etsy. So what you wanna do is you wanna download your file, and usually it comes over in a zipped file because there's lots of, oh, I'm looking for it and I haven't downloaded it. You wanna download it here, and there it is. Let me move my face so you can see what, oh, hold on. So see, it's zipped right here. So you just wanna click on the arrow and show in folder so we can go and unzip the file. Um, so here it is, let's double click on it. And in the if it's still a folder, you gotta double click on it again. I want the SVG file. And let me see if I can rename it. I can't rename it. Okay, so let's go and put it in desktop. And that's where I'm gonna look for it. All right, so let's go to design space. Let's upload the file and give me a second here. I'm gonna move myself back over so you can kind of see everything. And I'm gonna show you the other file too because I wanna show you why some files are better than others, okay? So let's go to upload image, browse, and um, it was called SVG, right? So let's go find it. Um, I know someone told me I say um too much, so I'm gonna try to not say it. Here it is. <laughs> okay, so here's the file. I'm gonna rename it so that if I need to look for this, not Friday, Frida, um, <laughs> if I need to find this in the future, I know I would not remember to type in SVG, right? So if you type in Frida, then this will, it will sit in images with design space images so it's it's a huge library so you want to make sure that you name it properly and if you want to add tags i mean if i always did frida maybe this one i would put blue dress or paintbrush something else but i know this is the only one i'm going to do so <laughs> let's save it and i thought we could make her really big all right so let's bring in both files i'm going to click on this one this is the one we just i just purchased this is the one that I purchased the other day and was so disappointed. So <laughs> click on both and insert and I'll show you why. And hopefully I'm not wrong about today's image. And you never know. I mean, I looked at it, I thought I was good and I was not good. Okay, so first thing is, um, let's look at, so here's our first Frida and you can see it's, it's got quite a few things, but it's all the flowers and all the different colors, okay? Let's look at our other Frida. Here's our other Frida. So we're scrolling, 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 scrolling. Can you imagine cutting, look, we're still scrolling, cutting all these pieces, and it wasn't even about the fact that they were lots of pieces, that's one thing, because you never know. I mean, maybe that file has that many pieces. It wasn't that, it was this. And look, the file is so big, you can't even see it right now. When you have that issue, you know it's here because it's in your right-hand side panel. What you wanna do is look at your size. There's two reasons for this. You wanna look at the size. This size says it's 400 inches, so obviously we can't see it. The other thing is look at your position. It's negative 46, that means Design space canvas starts at zero, zero. So if you're in the negative, you're not even on the canvas. So that's two reasons why you wanna double check when you can't see your image. So the first thing is, I'm gonna change this to about 15 inches. So it will resize itself. And then you can see it's not all showing here because, um, oh, it is. Okay, so it moved once it's there. And then look at this. 
this is why, you know, I, it's really unfair when rookie designers come on here and sell because what kind of design is this with a black square over it, right? It's, um, it just frustrates me because it gives other designers a bad rap. All right, <laughs> so let's ungroup this. I'm gonna show you the, th the reason that I was so irritated is all these extra pieces weren't even necessary. When you start looking at this, so here's the monkey, right? I mean, it's just all these pieces. Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to do all that? I mean, it's just everything is, an, is a piece itself. Look at her, like, here's her face, but then her eyebrows. I mean, it's just a bad file. There's no way we could work with this. So let's just delete this. And you also know, like I said, because we had to scroll so much to look at all the pieces of this file. All right, so let's look at this one. <laughs> Let's scroll down to see what we do have. So we do have our solid black background, which is what we want. I don't think that we need this layer. This layer looks like it's an empty, like it's just a shadow. So let's delete it and see what we have. Yeah, I don't think we needed that. All right, so let's look at this. We'll try for 30 inches. I'm a little bit worried because her face is so big. So let's try out the height at 30 and see what we have. I don't like um, when there's a seam down the face. Actually, I won't do it if there's a seam down the face because I think it's very distracting and I'd rather make it the right size as big as I can with the face being seamless. Otherwise, it's not gonna look good. Okay, so what you need to do is we need to ungroup it so that we can see what we have. And I'll move myself over yet again. Okay. So we ungrouped it. Let's look at her face. So this is her hair. Um, here's her face. And let's go to contour. We want to contour out everything, leaving just the face to see how big the face is. So I'm going to hide all. That leaves just the face right here, and that's good. So the face, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. It's 11.5 by 11.2. Within design space, technically this is showing as if we're gonna need an 11, a 12 by 24 mat because this is over 11 and a half inches, but it's so close to 11 and a half inches, it will cut on your mat. Just make sure, it's just gonna go past what it's comfortable with, so just pretend you have a 12 by 24 mat. No worries here. So she's gonna look great. Her, she's gonna be seamless. So let's go back to contour and bring everything back because now we know her face is good. So we're gonna go back and click show all and then get out of here and let's see what other elements we have. The dress may be, oh, the dress is fine. Okay, so she is going to be seamless. Where you're going to see the seams is in the black and this is a lot of black down here. So what I, I'm actually going to make this because I'm so interested in this file. I think she's gonna look Beautiful, colorful, all of that. What I want to do down here, because I know there's going to be seams, I'm going to roll um, paper flowers and attach it down here. So she's going to be colorful here. Maybe even add a few flowers up here. It depends. Or you could, if you had really pretty colored cardstock, like printed cardstock, you could make her dress a printed color, right? Um, all right, so let's get started on this thing because it's gonna look so good. So she's 30 inches. Let's save it right now just so that I can remember. The Frida at the, oh, I keep saying Friday. <laughs> I just want it to be Friday. All right, Frida 30 inches, we're saving it. Now, the thing about the flowers is they're individual petals. So what I would want to do, I think I would want to weld the petals so that each flower is one piece, two pieces. It's the middle and then the outside is welded. Um, I, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So, um, let's start. Sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, so this is pretty close together, but we can easily separate this. So let's duplicate it. 
so that we can make it super close to each other. Otherwise, it's going to cut with all these empty spaces. So I duplicated it so that we can contour and we're gonna contour one piece out. So I clicked on this to remove it. So all we have left is the skirt. So here's the skirt. And then we're gonna click on this one and click on contour and remove the skirt on this one so we have the top. So both these pieces will cut out. And the cool thing too is if you do it this way, then her top could be a different color and the bottom could be a different color if you wanted to add more color for her. Okay, here are her sleeves. And let's zoom in for a second and look at these sleeves. So you see that they are not connected, so it's four pieces. My recommendation, and I'm gonna do it because I'm actually gonna cut this file, is I'm going to weld these two pieces together so that I'm not dealing with four pieces, I'm dealing with two sizable pieces. And that's gonna make it so much easier to keep track of the pieces. So I'm gonna duplicate this. And I don't, I don't need to get rid of all the details, I just need to put it here enough so that the two pieces connect to one another and that way they'll cut as one piece. So I'm gonna put this over here as well. Okay, I'm gonna grab the two and weld it. So you see they still have the little slit right here to give that extra detail of you know just being cute, but they're now two big pieces. Same thing with this one, I'm gonna duplicate because I want to separate them. I can put these two much closer together and cut and maybe even cut on scrap paper as opposed to one large 12 by 12 piece of paper because I won't have all this empty space. So let's go to contour. I'm gonna click on this, so I want just my left sleeve. So here's my left sleeve. On this one, I'm gonna click on the left sleeve so that I only have the right sleeve. And there you go. So now when I go to cut this, I can put it really close together and have that cut. All right, let's go back over here, see what else we have. So this is the paintbrush, so cute. Okay, let's see what we have here. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out and let's see what else we have. We have, okay, those are her earrings. Now the same thing with the earrings, let's zoom in for a second. I would keep, obviously keep this separated from this, but these two pieces, definitely I would weld them together. So her earrings, I'm curious, I feel like her earrings could be colorful, more colorful. So, um, you know, you could change this from gray to another color if you wanted to. But I, I'm not familiar with her other than I know she's this amazing artist from Mexico. Um, I don't know anything else about her besides the eyebrows too, um, if she wore colorful earrings or not. So I'm gonna have to look it up before I decide at the end what I'm gonna do with these earrings. Okay, now with this, you can do a couple of things. We'll bring in a shape and we can slice apart these pieces. So watch, I'm gonna make this big. I'm gonna slice out the bottom of the earring so when you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So I'm slicing the gray with the square, and the square is covering a full piece of whatever I want to separate from the group. So this one, I'm gonna separate the bottom of that earring, I'm slicing it out, and you can only slice two things at one time. So if your cursor picks up more than two items, you're not gonna be able to slice. These are slice results, I don't need them. I'm gonna just delete that. So now all I just have left are the circles. So I'm gonna put one circle that's completely covered in the square, grab the two items and slice. And you see, I only pulled my cursor over just a little bit to grab the two items. Your cursor does not need to grab the entirety of the piece. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Now the earrings can be clustered together and cut um, without wasting so much paper. Okay. Let's go back over here. We've got the paintbrush, here's the brush. Okay, so what's left? Oh, interesting, okay. So you see how her earrings, I didn't notice this before. This is hanging here. So the only way that we 
if this is not going to work if you're just cutting out in cardstock it's floating right so it's just, it's just going to be dropped so what we could do is we could add thread so you'll have dangly earrings so i'm definitely going to do that um, and it will just make the piece more interactive so that's super cute right there all right lips we're good there let's zoom back out and see what we have so we know we have to deal with the skin her skin portions we need to um we need to contour these pieces out or slice them out let's see what this is all about so this is her hair and her eyebrows so same thing here we're going to want um Oh, and it's too long so you see that we're gonna need to slice her hair up so I'm gonna slice it where it's really thin maybe right around there I'm gonna use glitter brown cardstock so we're not gonna see the seams and okay so let's let's contour out the eyebrows and all that stuff so let's duplicate this piece Go to contour. We're going to get rid of the hair first. So, because we're separating this, so it's just the inside that we're keeping here. So, on this one, it's this, and we can slice this up in a little bit. Then, on this one, contour, let's get rid of the insides, and we just have the hair. All right, so we know we need to slice up the hair. Let's click on a square okay so this is actually going to be a very cool tutorial when we assemble it because there's going to be the dangling earrings the rolled flowers so let's click on it right here um you know what maybe right here because if i click on it right here that's a lot of brown right here it's way less brown that we're going to see the seam. So I'm going to grab these two items and slice. Okay, so we don't need this. So now the hair is going to be like this, okay? And that's okay, but look, that seam is going to be so tiny, we're not going to notice it. And now this piece is 9.7, this piece is 7 by 7. Let's go and grab these pieces um so do you see how that eyebrow is sticking out so we want to make sure it's completely in our square like that okay now we're going to grab the two pieces and slice and i'll keep the eyebrows together with the eye so i'm not going to further slice this out that's pretty compact I am, however, going to slice out this piece because this piece can go in the middle when we go to cut it and it would save us a little bit of cardstock. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna grab this and slice. She's gonna look so cute. I hope you guys get inspired to do her as well. I mean, this is a special request. So someone's doing it for their daughter's birthday party, which I think is the cutest theme, but, um, I just think this is gonna be so colorful and so cute. Okay, so we've got that. Let's look, so the ear is same thing. Did I get rid of my square? I probably did. So let's duplicate this contour and we're getting rid of the right ear. And then on this one, we're gonna get rid of the left ear. Okay, so now the ears can be super close together. Now, what's funny is the ears are a different color than her skin. I want them to be the same color. So I'm gonna go to Color Sync. And we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to work on this because it's too many colors. So I'm gonna move the ear down here. So it's now the same color as the skin. And you see how many different shades of red, her lips, the paintbrush, um, these flowers. I am going to make them all one red and they're far apart too. So I'm going to use a glitter red cardstock. So I'm making it all one color. Let's see what else do we have. We have the gray of the earrings and the sleeves, which, you know, like I said, I think the sleeves, I would want to make it a colorful thing, 
So I think I'm actually gonna make the sleeves yellow because there's not a lot of yellow. The yellow is um, just a little bit of the flowers, I think. Okay, then we have the orange, pink. What are these? I don't know what that is. Um, let's see her eyes. Okay, all that we need to keep. Um, all right, I th think we're okay. So what are these things? All right, let's go back to our layers to see what else we have. Um, oh, her eyes, that's what it, okay. So we've got the white of the eyes, and again, I would separate that as well as the eyes on the inside. So I'm gonna do her eyes the same color as her hair, which is that dark, is her hair black or brown? Um, sorry, I'm gonna look it up really quickly. Give me a second. Because I do want, okay, so Frida, oh my God, Friday. Calada images. I think her hair is brown, right? Oh, it's dark. Um, let's look at the drawing. So the drawing always has her hair, oh, it's black. Okay, so I think what I would do is black glitter cardstock for the hair, black for the eyebrows. The eyes will be brown. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, let's look here. So let's see what these things are. These are little things in her hair. And again, these pieces, I would make the same red as I have everything else. Okay, the white. Okay, so all the white and the eyes, I would make white glitter cardstock. <clears throat> so, um, Okay, let's zoom in. This is where we're gonna start working on the flowers. So you see how the flower petals are all separated pieces? What I wanna do is I wanna make them connect. So I'm gonna go and bring in a circle and I'm just gonna have enough. Well, there's a couple ways to do this because the petal goes on the inside, right? So we could technically do something like this that would make it really fast. Just enough to connect everything. Um, make this just a little bit bigger. Okay, and then duplicate it and bring it over here. Make this one a little bit bigger so that the circle is touching all the edges, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna grab, oops, let me undo that. Okay, I'm gonna grab the two circles and the white and I'm gonna weld it together. Okay, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like, so don't worry. So here's our image, right? Here's our white. So the white's gonna go like this right in there, okay? And then where's my orange pieces? Um, that's the yellow. Where are my orange petals? Oh, it must be this. Arrange, send to the front. Oops. So you see how our white, that looks fine, right? Because the petals, um, the, the center goes in the middle right there. So you're not gonna see that the white is completely um, enclosed, but what's great is instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces, the flowers are in two pieces. And in fact, I'm gonna weld this little piece to this piece. I mean, I guess I don't have to, <laughs> but I would slice this apart so that the whites are all separated. Let's go look at the next color. So same thing with the pink. I would do circles for all of these so that 
Each petal is connected, so let's do that again. I'm gonna zoom in so that you could see what I'm doing. And trust me, this is, the so many pieces, no one's gonna notice that little detail, um, but it just makes your life so much easier. <laughs> I promise. And you'll see, when I go to assemble this, you'll see the end product. It's gonna still look really, really amazing because of the colors we choose. Um, and all of that. Okay, so this is all connected. Let's duplicate this. Let's go and do all the centers. So in this case, instead of like 20 to 25 petals that you need to keep track of, you're keeping track of five pink flowers. So I'm going to grab all of this and did I grab more than I wanted to. Let's see what we grabbed. The pink. I did. I grabbed this thing. I did not want to grab that. So let's zoom out. Sorry guys. Okay. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. Now, there, we're gonna weld. These are our pink flowers, perfect. And again, I would slice these apart. Okay, I mean, well, we have to, because it's 17 inches by 7.8. So we need to slice them apart so that each flower is its own piece, okay? So you wanna do the same thing to the red and to the yellow. These orange dots, I would want to separate them or at least cut them into like threes so that we can regroup them together. Okay, so there's that. I'm not gonna do it because I think you guys already get the idea. Let's look at her skin. So with her skin, we need to separate the ears because the face was already 11 and a half inches, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to separate this into six pieces. So they're so close together, we're not going to be able to slice. We need to contour. So when you contour and you want to break it up into six pieces, then you need six total copies of this image. So here's one. Go to duplicate. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So let's go to contour. And let's hide all. So it left us the face, but without the pieces inside. So let me show you what that looks like. So it left us this, which I do want this, okay? So I'm gonna duplicate this. The reason why I want it is because there's gonna be seams down her face. I want this to be black so that it's gonna go, because just this, this piece right here is 18 inches by 30 inches, right? There's gonna be seams going through her face. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the seams, but we're gonna put this on top and then her face on top of that. So you're not gonna see any seams running through the eyes or the lips or the eyebrows. Okay, let's look at this for now. Um, this piece we need to contour and bring back all the cut pieces. So we need to click on this. So interesting. If you remember, so we want this. We have eyebrows. So the eyebrows go inside. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that's fine because we were going to do um, black glitter cardstock, so it's going to sparkle a little bit more instead of the black background. So her eyes won't be sparkling, the background won't be sparkling. This will be regular black cardstock. All right, so here's her face, looks good. Let's go and continue to contour out and separate all the pieces. So now let's hide all. We want the ears with the earrings. Ears with the earrings. We don't want the face. So here are our ears and we're gonna wanna slice those as well, right? Let's go to the next piece. We now want the neck, the 
but we don't want the face. So here is her little itty bitty neck. Then we need the arms. So um, contour, hide all. We want the arms. We don't want the face. So here are the arms. And then we need the legs. Contour, hide all. We want the legs. We don't want the face. So I somehow ended with an extra piece, so that's fine. Let's <laughs> delete that. Okay, so the ears. Let's bring in a square. And I'm going to make it big because I'm going to slice the ears as well as an example of the petals, okay? So here's my ear. I'm going to grab it like this and slice. So here's this ear, remove this. We don't need the slice results. Here's the other ear. All right, so paint brush. I'm wondering if this can be some other color. I feel like it can be orange with the petals. What do you think? I think. So let's go over here and let's see. This is our little piece. So I'm going to make it orange with the petals. And let's see what other pieces. So we have our black. We have our skin color. We have the sparkly eyes that are gonna be brown. Here's the white. So I'm gonna put the white together with the whites down here. Did it move? I don't think we need two whites. Where's my white now? What did I just do? Oh no, okay, so now they're all together. Okay, so we've got our whites, our reds, the blue, the orange petals with the paintbrush. Um, what is this thing? I forgot what this was. Is this part of the paintbrush? I think it's part of the paintbrush. Which I'm going to make part of the earrings because it's sort of the same silver. And then here's her sleeves and the yellow flowers, black glitter cardstock, pink, and then, okay. So let's work on this pink so I can show you what that looks like. I know this file is a little bit um, lengthy because there's a lot of steps because of all the flowers and the colors but it's if you think about what we're doing it's it's not hard it's just a lot of steps so now with the pink flowers because it's almost 18 inches we need to slice this up you can't cut this unless you're going to use 12 by 24 cardstock but it's so wasteful right so this is what we're going to do we're going to slice out each set of flowers so here's the first one. Right, so we don't need the slice results. And here's the flower. So you see now we have just these five that are left. So we're gonna do this. And so all those flowers are gonna cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. In fact, probably much even more condensed than that. Okay, so we need we can get rid of that. Now we have our square and we still have these pieces, right? So this is 11 by eight. So now it can cut, right? If you didn't, if you were too lazy and you didn't care about saving your cardstock, now you can move your flowers in and this is no longer 17 inches by whatever. It's now 11.2 by 9. You're still going to have a lot of empty space here that you can save for next time because I'm going to be using beautiful glitter cardstock. So I want to save it and I want I want my scraps to be really easy to reuse. So um, I would, I myself would continue slicing this out so that I can stick it all on maybe half a sheet of paper or something. Okay, so we've got all the elements down, right? We don't need to work on that. I'm gonna show you how to slice out the petals or the little middles. Um, same thing, I would probably, like I said, slice this into a couple of different sections and not the individual middle, but maybe even, okay, so I'm, I'm in too much traffic. I'm picking up too much, so slicing is not available. So I'm moving it out of the way so I can see what I have, right? So here's this. And then here's this. So I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna slice that section out, okay? And that way, at least in, in a group of three, um, 
I can make I can condense this more and make it more efficient when we go to cut it so here's this piece right and then now I'm gonna do another set so let's move it down here you guys can still see right okay do this and slice so before I didn't look at how big it was before but now you can see look I can put this much closer together and get rid of this and move this in so now I can cut something like this so this is only gonna take up seven inches by seven there's still a lot of empty space but you know it's okay all right let's get rid of this so we've broken down every piece right the only thing we have left is the big black background so let's do that now and then we'll be done let me see if I can save this because I can't tell you how many times I end the video I go to you know save it and I lose the whole project so I can't even make it I would have to redo everything I know design space all right I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way just to give us a clean slate a little bit so that we can see what's going on okay so she's 18 inches by 30 I always use 12 by 12 cardstock 90% 95% of the time so in this case we're gonna need two columns right because column one is 12 inches column two is another 12 it's 24 inches one column is not enough to cover the two right and then rows it's 30 inches so I'm gonna need three rows 12 12 12 right so that's 36 inches it's way more than 30 but with two rows it's only 24 inches and that's not enough so I hope that makes sense so we're building a grid of six squares because it's two columns and three across, so that's six, okay? Let's bring in our first square. So I just told you I used 12 by 12 cardstock, so that means we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But I don't like dealing with half inches, so my squares are gonna be 11 by 11. Oops. And in this case, it doesn't matter, right? No matter what, I still need two columns and three rows. So I'm gonna just drop this somewhere over here. We're going to go over to the position feature and we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So 10.9 becomes 11, 1.5 becomes 2. So what I'm saying is the X coordinate is the one running across. I'm telling Design Space, go over 11 units, go down 2 units, and here's the beginning of my square. I'm going to go to Layers and duplicate my square. This square I'm going to put really, really close to the first one. And again, round to the nearest whole number. So 22.25 is 22, 2.083 is 2. So now I have two squares that are completely flush with each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want that because we don't want any overlaps, right? And we also don't want any gaps. We want them to butt up right next to each other so that we can tape up her black background back together again, okay? So we have two squares that are completely flush. Hit the shift key, grab the other square. So we've got two squares highlighted. They're already flush with each other, right? So we're gonna duplicate them. So we're duplicating this set. We're gonna drop it really close and then again move it. So 10.9 becomes 11, 13.3 becomes 13. So now we have a set of four squares that are flush with each other. Our two squares are still highlighted. We're gonna duplicate that set and put our last set down here. And 10.8 becomes 11. 24.3 becomes 24. I'm going to show you the math behind it, right? So this one is starting at 11, right? And then our square is 11 inches. So 11 plus 11 is 22. And here's the start of our 22. Same thing with up here. This starts at 2, right? Going down 2 units. 2 plus 11 is 13. And there's 13. So we know our six squares are all flushed with each other. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to your right-hand side panel, scroll all the way to the bottom. And it's a lot of pieces because we broke up everything, remember? All right, grab the, select the black background, go to arrange, send to the front. And now we're just looking to make sure that we're not slicing any small pieces. So in like, I'm almost tempted to move her right down the middle. If I can even do that. I want to slice her legs apart because I think that will 
be clean and it's gonna go up her neck and we have that little piece for the neck. Um, do I want to do that or do I not want to do that? Yeah, okay, I think that's the easiest thing. So we have, we're gonna have six big pieces here. So the first thing is, um, let me zoom in to make sure that. So you see this seam is gonna come down and it's gonna be a portion of her hair. And then this side's gonna be her hair. This side's gonna be her piece. I think it's all good. Let's look at this. Let's move her over just a little bit so that her legs aren't sliced off at all. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's start slicing. We're gonna slice the bottom corner first. And then we're just gonna make our way around this piece, okay? We're slicing the middle left. And I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Then we're gonna slice the top left and then we're gonna go over to the right side and go down and start slicing down the right side. So now we're doing this corner. And then this one. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out because now we've sliced it up and I'm gonna show you what the pieces look like. So here she is, right? So that's her hair. And these seams are gonna be covered by the flowers. So we're not really gonna see that, right? And then we have that big, this piece right here that's gonna come in the middle and it's gonna cover up all the seams here that, um, oops, let me move that back. And then her dress is gonna cover up the seams right here. So she's gonna look really good and she's gonna be so colorful that you're not gonna notice those tiny little seams. Um, we're gonna have beautiful rolled flowers. We're gonna have glittery flowers in her hair. And her hair is going to be glitter cardstock sitting on top. So actually we won't see this seam at all, right? Because the black is gonna go on top. All right, so this we don't need. We can just grab it all and delete. <clears throat> Let me save this one more time. <clears throat> and we can't, I'm gonna go to the Make It page, the Make It screen. I think we're good. Let's go to Make It and see. So did I save it? Let me save it. <laughs> and don't disappear on me, okay. Let's go to the Make It screen so I can show you what that looks like and how to make things very compact and efficient. <clears throat> I grab a drink of water. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we didn't finish slicing up the white, so that's why it's showing like this, but obviously we should slice because I'm not gonna use 11 by 24 cardstock to make this work. But you can see, look at the eyes can go, We you can move these things and if we separate the eyes, then it doesn't have to be this far apart, right? We can move this one over here if we sliced it apart. Just click okay here, we're fine there. So let's see what this is. These are the earrings and the paintbrush. Okay, this is her face, if you remember, is just a little bit over 11 and a half inches. So that's why it's showing on a 12 by 24 mat. If you don't have an 11 by 24 mat, I'm gonna show you what to do now. But if you do have a 12 by 24 mat, I would just move this down, make sure that nothing is running across your 12 inch line because that's where you're gonna have the first paper and then the 12 by 12, two 12 by 12 cardstock pieces on this mat. So you wanna make sure nothing cuts here because that, there's gonna be a slice right there. So you have that. You have this here. Oh, I'm sorry. If you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, what you do is you can't have anything on the bottom, right? So you click on this, click on the three dots, move object, and we're going to add a new sheet. It's gonna be a new black piece, confirm, and so here's your black piece. So if you go back to here, you can put a 12 by 12, 12, by 12 mat with 12 by 12 cardstock on here, and look, it's not going past the 12 line. It will cut because it's gonna think we have 12 by 24 paper on here, so don't worry about that. Okay, so here's all our black pieces. And your black pieces we can consolidate. So we could click on this, three dots, move object, and we can move it on to this piece. 
I think these two pieces can fit, right? You just wanna make sure that you move them so that they're not um, cutting over each other. So here, save a sheet of paper. <laughs> All right, let's go and look at our brown. See, this is what I'm talking about. If we slice this, it won't cut like this. We can actually then move this one over here. Here is our orange, and we moved a little bit of this, but not completely. So you could still consolidate a little bit. Oh, this is our red, actually. The lips can be in here. So this is still pretty efficient, even though, or well, we can make it really efficient like this and so you probably have scrap paper that's four by seven just make sure that these pieces are moved so nothing is overlapping right so you could use scrap for this instead of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock oh wait there's a piece at the bottom oh this is connected together so you definitely need to slice that apart okay let's look at this is our black glitter cardstock I would, okay, so this one, let's click on this, move object. We're gonna move it onto the other page, confirm. Now, if you remember the slices right here, right? So I want both of these pieces of hair to be parallel, if that makes sense. I want this seam to be on the same grain of my glitter cardstock. So what I mean by that is when we, it's sort of like if you think of velvet, like a velvet couch, and you know when you run your hand through one way, that portion flips the material, right? So you could see sort of like what you just did, and then you would brush it back this way for it to match the rest of the couch again. Same thing with cardstock, glitter cardstock has a grain to it. So you want this to be parallel. What you don't want is this. You don't want to shift this at all because now you've shifted the grain of the paper, how this is going to cut. So just trust me on this, <laughs> leave it the way it was and it will, it will match up and it will look so good. Okay, these two pieces can go there. Um, this can go in here maybe. Can this fit somewhere over here? No, but me, oh there. So this is, you know, definitely more condensed next time you have this big chunk that you can use again for scraps. Okay, same thing with the face here. What you wanna make sure is um, you don't wanna be on this line. This is gonna be two sheets of cardstock. So it needs to be underneath the 12 by 12 line. Now the insides here, you can use that empty space. You could use up here. So, will this fit out? So close. Oh, it does fit. Her ears fit inside the eyes. So you could definitely do that. You can even rotate this to make sure. Now the arms, I don't think I can get to fit in there. But you can see like you can start to, this can go up here. So on your next piece of cardstock, you only have this and this. So maybe I would even do something like this. There, okay. Your orange dots, okay, this is a hot mess. We can try to move it in a little bit more. Maybe this goes here. So the more you slice, the more you have the ability. If we slice these individually, we could have moved this over here, this over here, so if that makes sense. Okay, here's our yellow. We didn't slice it. So now you've got it. I hope this was helpful. I know the person who requested this actually has a silhouette, as do I, but I have not mastered it. In fact, I can't even really call myself a beginner. I only know how to create an offset in the silhouette design. <laughs> So anyway, I hope it was still helpful. If you have a special request, let me know as well. I am totally here to help you guys. Um, give me your feedback. Was that too slow, too fast? Did I miss anything? Let me know. I'm always trying to perfect it or give you more correctly catered information, I guess. So um, I'm not offended. I really, you know, I really want the feedback. So all right. Love you guys. See you next time.